Hey folks, this is Wistful Deal here, and I just got back from seeing the wild robot. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty skeptical with this film, <laughs> you know, I was very unsure of it, even with the trailers and everything, folks, because DreamWorks, to me, is a mixed bag. It's either they give something to you great and amazing, like... Puss in Boots 2, The Last Wish, I still, I'm going to call it Puss in, Boots, Puss in Boots 2, that's how I go. With every sequel, you know, one, two, three, since they don't really, title films and stuff, don't really do that too much anymore, but I still count it anyway, so it's Puss in Boots 2 to me anyway. But anyway, it's either something like that, where it's really good, really amazing, a lot of heart and emotion and stuff. You either get that with DreamWorks, or you just get... Pure marketing, well, with trolls, which I never really cared much for. I only saw um, the second one or whatever through a um, through a special needs group or whatever, and I, I didn't really care that much for the film personally anyway. And apparently, there's a third one coming, which I really just could care less about personally. Same thing with Boss Baby and some of the other DreamWorks films. That's what I feel like. They're a mixed bag. They either give out something great and amazing and good, or they just give out weird, silly slop and stuff that I really don't care much for. But that's so far my preference on those films. But um, anyway, what got me interested in seeing this film was um, from other YouTubers that I follow and listen to. They've been saying that it's pretty damn good and that it's worth a watch and stuff. So then I was like, okay, you know what? Let's Let's give it a shot. Let's, you know, check it out and see what it's like and everything. So, me and my one-on-one um, -on -one staff, so we decided to go ahead and check it out. And honestly, I pretty much, I really liked it. It was definitely really good. I loved the um, art style and everything. The story was super predictable, honestly enough. I say that's honestly... The weakest part of it, even from the trailers, they kind of spoiled a bit of everything, and it's honestly what I kind of expected. A robot gets sent out into lost nature and everything, and it tries to find its um, owner or whatever, if you say, to see what task it is and everything, you know, a complete other robot that needs to complete tasks and complete the mission and everything, and what not, if it turns out the robot, you know, grows fond of the forest and animals and everything to the point to where it becomes rogue and then it fights off the um, main computer system or the main other codings of the other robots that aren't, you know, rogue or deviant or whatever and what not. It's, it's a simplified story, but honestly, I really loved it because it had a lot of heart into it and... It's definitely a heavy theme on parroting and stuff, which I really liked as well. You know, if you've seen, I'm not going to try and get into spoilers or anything, but it just kind of sucked with the trailer because it kind of laid everything out a bit too much, really, honestly. And I came in kind of knowing what I was expecting, but after hearing through the um, praise, like I said, with some of the other YouTubers that I also watch and listen to and everything and that give, you know, movie reviews and everything. And when a lot were saying that it's pretty good, I kind of figured, okay, it's what I expected before, but since, you know, maybe this is pretty good, you know, let's go ahead and give it a shot. And honestly, I really liked this one. I do not have too much complaints on this at all. It's really good. The animation is good. The story is simple and very predictable, but I don't think that's really in a bad way. You know, if anything, it's it doesn't, like, water down or anything at all. And it was definitely quite emotional. I didn't cry, but I definitely got the feels pretty damn good and everything. You know, there were some pretty close ones in there with the feelings, not gonna lie. You know, it... Overall, was pretty damn good, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I am overall glad that I went to go see it, honestly. It's kind of hard for me to get into the movies anymore now, because a lot of the films that are coming out now, and that have been coming out for the past few years or so, have 
really made me uninterested in going and seeing, you know, these films. I was going to go ahead and go see Joker 2, you know, um, J Joker with that weird, um, I don't know, title, whatever. I just call it Joker 2 for the sake of it. You know, it's just easier for me. With Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn and everything, I was really going to plan on going and seeing that, but after the shit bomb that it's been getting and with the negative reviews and everything that it's been getting and the complaints and stuff, it's really put a damper taste in my mouth. And it's such a shame too, honestly, because I thoroughly enjoyed the first film of Joker back in 2019. You know, that film was really good and everything. It's the only film that I went and saw on my own because another friend of mine wasn't going to go see it because he's part of, you know, the LDS, the church, the, the Mormon cult, as I call it, especially in here in Utah. And he's, quote, forbidden from watching rated R films. That annoyed me, but I'm like, you know what, with all these reviews and this, um, you know, gross money that's been earning in worldwide and stuff, I'm going to go freaking see this film. It's pretty damn good, you know. And honestly, I really loved it. I felt that that, that Joker film was really good and amazing and everything, and I personally loved it. It was like one of my favorite films of 2019. But after hearing all of the shit bombs and all of the bad reviews that Joker 2 has been getting, it's, it's really such a shame to me too, because I was really looking forward to it. I was expecting that film to follow based on Harley, you know, not just Joker meeting up with Harley, but also... I was expecting it to go with what Arkham Origins did, in a sense, you know, where Harley meets up with Joker, and Harley slowly becomes a bit insane like the Joker, and just go up with that way, but with the own flavor and stuff on how it's portrayed, whatever. That's what I was hoping, or at least expecting that film would be, and I can't say for certain, but honestly, it just... And that's another thing that really disappointed me. And a lot of stuff, too, is that a lot of the films and stuff just aren't interesting to me. Half the films are either go on stream anyway, since with streaming platforms like Disney+, Plus, Hulu and stuff, you know, Peacock+, Plus or whatever, you know, like all these different streaming services. And I just, I don't know, it just sours my taste even more because it's like, why would I stream something at home, you know, when I can just go to the films and stuff, and yeah, I kind of get it, films have been kind of dying down and everything, but it just sucks in a way, because I, I still love going to the films and everything, you know, and pretty much what I'm trying to say is that a lot of the films for the past few years or so have really been dampering with me on going and seeing a film, unless it's something I'm generally interested in to go see, or if it has high reviews, I'll go ahead and go see it, you know, basically, and at least there's still some good films that have, you know, been coming out that have still piqued my interest, um, John Wick 4 that I saw with my ex-girlfriend, that's probably one of the best films that I personally loved and saw, um, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, you know, um, Furiosa, Mad Max, you know, there, there's still some good banners out there, but it just kind of sucks how they're a bit more split it off or more in with the crappy crowds and everything. I don't think there's like a single, um, cause they, at the theaters, right, they always do this 20, 30 minute, um, previews, right, of the next films are going to be coming out soon by next year or whatever. I really don't think there's a single one that even piqued my interest. There's Wicked, which is an, uh, which is a Wizard of Oz side story of that witch or whatever. I'm heavily not interested in going and seeing that. Muf Mufasa, Lion King, the preview of Lion King live action, whatever. I am really not interested in seeing that either. I, I don't even want to go see it. I don't even care on that film. And there's a bunch of buffers I can't really think of at the top of my head, but yeah. And it just overall sucks because it just leaves me too skeptical on seeing a film. And if it weren't for these other YouTubers that I follow and that I kind of, you know, admire and look over, especially when they have good taste in film or, 
you know, just good taste in art or whatever, if it wasn't for any of these other folks that, you know, suggested it and gave their thoughts on it, then I probably wouldn't have seen it, honestly, because I'm just too skeptical and too worried on wasting my money, you know, on something that, you know, seemed good when really it was underwhelming and ended up not being that good at all or whatnot. Or throw in the um, soon ideology of just being bullied in because I'm a, quote, man or this or that, whatever, you know. I like to, you know, I'm the same way with everything else when it comes to, you know, feels of, you know, um, taste of foods or video quality, you know, I always strive for high things and everything, you know, I, I hate just having slop for the sake of having slop, you know, I like to have something with passion and heart into it, and clearly with the, um, wild robot, it was really damn good, honestly, I overall recommend it, I know I s split off here and everything, but, I overall, I really enjoyed it, you know, it was definitely good and everything. I think the film definitely speaks for itself, especially if you've seen the trailers, you know, so that's why I'm not going to give any spoilers. I don't think I'm going to give any spoilers, honestly, with any of the future films or whatever that I cover, because I don't really do too good, honestly, with describing a film. But honestly, with this one, Hill... I'd say it was pretty damn good, like I keep saying for a million times. The art was really good, the animation was really good, the voice acting was good. Everything was overall pretty good. I do not have any complaints with it, and if you're looking for something to go see in the theaters, I would definitely recommend this one. Again, I am not, I'm not, not only am I skeptical with, um, the cinema library in general, right, with all the other films that are going to be coming out and whatnot, but also especially with DreamWorks, because like I said, they're definitely a hit and miss, a 50-50, you know. You kind of never, at least I do, I never really know what to expect, unless it's from a sequel that I know that's going to be, you know, good and everything previously that I love, then, you know, I'll go see it. But other than something other than that, it's just... They're, they're a mixed bag, you know, like I said, you either get a Puss in Boots, or even with this one, Wild Robot, or you get Boss Baby and Trolls, you know, it's like, it's like, a lot of the times, um, animation studios, they'll either slowly rise up and do great and everything, and turn to a marketing thing, similar to Illumination, or they, um, start to drift and fall down, like with Disney, you know, it's like a, every um, studio is like that. But with DreamWorks, it's like a roller coaster. You know, they just keep going up and down, up and down. And it's like a Russian roulette of a guessing game between if a film's going to really do good and even when a film does good and succeeds or whatever, it's like it's either it's going to be a great film with heart or it's just going to be illumination with a marketing strategy. And the film, you know, it's just okay at best, you know, it's mediocre, it's not horrible, but it's nothing all too to heart either, you know, that's how I overall feel, but anyway, folks, did you go see this film, what did you think of it, me personally, I loved it, and I'm really glad I went to go see it, you know, I definitely loved it, and I overall really liked it, the main parenting theme was really damn good, and I liked it, and the main theme of finding your own self and not sticking to societal needs or computer programming needs, you know, becoming your own, you know, not in a sense of like a bad way, but in just finding your own person in a way, you know, through deviancy and everything and accepting each other and coming together despite differences, you know, both physically and logically, you know, digitally, whatever, I felt that the film was overall really damn good, and I would highly recommend it. But yeah, did you folks enjoy the film? Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you folks thought of this down in the comments below. But as of now, folks, that is pretty much it for this video here. So with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe for more. 
and I will see you all sooner or later. Bye-bye, everyone.